with leaders reaching out to residents concerned about the 2,000 young immigrants coming to the Dallas community. Several places could house the children when they arrive later this month, including an old Parkland Hospital warehouse, Pulsey Middle School in Dallas and the Leap School in Grand Prairie. That is where we find NBC5's Johnny Archer live there now. So, Johnny, how do people feel about these changes? Amanda, there are mixed feelings in this Grand Prairie neighborhood about housing some of the 2,000 immigrant children here at Lamar Alternative Education Center, but many people tell me that they just need more answers from government leaders about how they're going to conduct this operation. Three of them bother me. I don't, I don't see why it bother me. It's, it's okay for me. It's going to overcrowd, you know, the neighborhood as far as itself, as far as the schools go with the kids. Rebecca Parks is concerned about the age of the kids, possibly coming to Lamar Alternative Education Center just down the street from her home, where she's lived for more than 30 years in Grand Prairie. If it's like the littler kids, you know, I mean, they're not going to be as rambunctious as the teenagers. The age of the kids that might shelter at Lamar is still uncertain. The Dallas County judge and elected Grand Prairie leaders went to homes surrounding the school to hand out flyers and to get feedback from residents about bringing some of the 2,000 immigrant children to their neighborhood. I think it's a good thing so that they're not like out running wild or anything. They're actually housed and concealed. Lamar is one of three locations named as a possible shelter. The others include D.A. Holsey Middle School and an old hospital warehouse near Parkland Memorial Hospital. But there are still many unanswered questions that Dallas County leaders are trying to figure out before they bring the kids to the Dallas area by the end of the month. I need more information. I mean, you know, I mean, I can't really say I'm for it or against it until I have more information. Well, the Dallas County judge tells me that they're going to use federal contractors for security at all of the sites. He says that the immigrant children will not be allowed off the premises and that any unauthorized people will not be allowed on it. Reporting live from Grand.